Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Arnie the Armadillo. So we'll go into this character's location, backstory, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that everything I say in this video isn't necessarily into the overall universe and lore of FNAF. This is just a fun what-if scenario and a creepy story because as hell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube because it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get to the character concept of Arnie the Armadillo. So previously in our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series, we've taken a look at the Desert Diner Pizzeria. This was a desert themed party restaurant with multiple desert themed attractions and characters. The characters we've met so far have been Cory the Camel, Scott the Scorpion, Randy the Rattlesnake, and the Cactus Kid. All of these animatronic characters have their own quirks, backstories, and reasons for attacking the Night Guard. Our Night Guard character has done their best to fend off each and every one of their attacks. But now they face another Night Shift at the Desert Diner Pizzeria. And with a new Night Shift comes a new character. So the new character we're introducing is Arnie the Armadillo. So hence the name, Arnie was designed after the desert dwelling animal, the Armadillo. Armadillos are most famously known for their tough armor-like shell. This being the case, Arnie was one of the bulkiest characters at the Desert Diner Pizzeria. His body was made up of multiple layered plates and has a large armored shell on his back. The multiple layered plates on his body could be opened up for easy access for repairs. But they could be problematic sometimes due to them popping open by themselves from time to time. So Arnie didn't have a spot up on stage. He was instead located upstairs in the arcade. This arcade was called Arnie's Arcade. It was filled with plenty of games, machines and prizes to win. Out of all the rooms at the pizzeria, Arnie's Arcade was by far the most popular of all the attractions. All the guests loved playing the games and activities that were available. The guests would earn tickets and collect prizes once they were done playing. All the prizes that were actually worth something were worth far too many tickets. Usually the most that guests would get is a keychain, bouncy ball or a pencil topper. But the prize that cost the most tickets was a rare limited edition Golden Freddy Fazbear plushie. All up, this super rare plushie was worth 10,000 tickets. It's been sitting on the shelf for quite some time now, but eventually someone would take it home, even if they had to take it for themselves. So Arnie would walk around the arcade and greet all the customers. Guests would give him a high five and also take photos with him as well. So overall, the pizzeria considered Arnie to be quite the successful animatronic. They did their job as instructed and kept all the guests happy and entertained. But unfortunately, something quite strange would eventually happen to Arnie. A strange and dark presence would get underneath his skin and refuse to leave. Inside of Arnie was where they would call their new home. But before we explore this dark moment in the Desert Diner's history, let's first take a look at the events leading up to it. So Arnie's Arcade was due for a new arcade machine. The pizzeria has been waiting for this machine for quite some time now, and now it had finally come. It wasn't a brand new machine by any means, but it would be new to the arcade that's for sure. It was an old Freddy Fazbear arcade machine from the early 80s. It was quite rare and very sought after. The name of this machine was Fazblaster 3000. It essentially was a clone of the game Asteroid. Freddy would be in his spaceship and blast away large pizzas that would fly towards him. The game was thought only to be a myth. Only a few of the machines were ever produced and they were quite rare to come by. But the game was quite problematic back in the day. There were reports of the game giving children epileptic seizures and also having subliminal messages. But these were all wild rumours of course. The manager knew that if they got their hands in this extremely rare game, it would bring arcade buffs from all over the country to their pizzeria. After years of searching, the manager had finally found one for sale. They may or may not have had to search on the dark web to find it, but they'll never admit where they got it from. 
All we know is that it was sold to them from a mysterious website that vanished after the sale was made. But the day had finally come when the Fazblaster 3000 machine would arrive. The only thing was, unfortunately it arrived the day before the pizzeria was to be fumigated for over a month. So the guests would have to wait over a month until they could play it. So over that time, it stayed at the arcade alongside Arnie who was resting in the arcade. But unknown to Arnie, something dark and sinister was lurking inside the machine. No one knows exactly what happened to Arnie over this time period. But he wasn't the same after. It seems that something had changed drastically about him, not just on the outside, but internally as well. Over this month-long period, there was no recorded footage of any incidents. But just like the other cases, the mysterious individual that broke into the pizzeria managed to tape some footage and upload it to the internet. The footage that we're about to show is the only recorded evidence of what happened to Arnie. So when the pizzeria reopened, Arnie wasn't the same. Whatever resided inside of his body seemed to control him. But these twisted little entities wanted something far greater. They grew tired of Arnie's body. They desired something new, something different. So those disturbing little critters would control Arnie and make their way down to the security office. They would wait patiently until the time was right. Then they would seize their chance to take over the night guard's body once and for all. So now let's get into the gameplay segment of the video. As always, the gameplay loop is based on the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. The player would need to be on the lookout for Arnie and his little intruders. His starting position would always be in the arcade. He would start to move around 3 or 4 a.m. Typically Arnie would move once the player has dealt with a number of all the other characters already. So Arnie would approach from the left hand side. As soon as the player sees him, they would need to shut the door immediately. But Arnie approaching from the left hand door wasn't his only move. If the player sees Arnie with an open chest cavity, then they would need to be on high alert. This would mean those mysterious little critters have exited his body and were coming after the player. The little critters would make their way through the air vents and try to attack the player. But since these little critters moved in the shadows, a burst of light from the player's flashlight would fend them off. So if the player sees those red little eyes peering out at them, they would need to use their flashlight immediately. They would disappear instantly, not revealing themselves to the player. With these multiple attempts to enter the security office, the player must be on high alert at all times. If they get overwhelmed and slip up, they'll be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. So I think Arnie the Armadillo would be a great addition to the Desert Diner Pizzeria. The fact that they can split up into two different entities would make them quite a tough opponent. Their creepy design and mysterious little intruders inside their body also makes them quite a frightening character. They would be bound to offer a fair amount of jump scares, that's for sure. Alrighty everyone, well that's what we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of Arnie the Armadillo, and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.